now that it is uh, fixed and is, um, is a lot more sturdy now, I can feel it even just wobbling it here is, is so much stronger. Um, I'm going to give it a, a layer of protective wax. Um, I don't want to completely refinish this because I quite like where it's been worn. It gives it a bit of age, makes it look uh, used and, and loved, which it has been. Um, so I'm just going to give it a bit of wax just to just to protect the uh, the finish that's remaining and um, any bare bits of wood that have uh, scraped off. You can see on the high wear areas here, here where the feet are put, um, and where it's grabbed around here. There's there's a little bit of uh, bare wood. So I'm going to be using this one. This is Earthborn. Uh, furniture wax, um, any wax will do. The reason I like this one is because it's uh, it's got really low VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Um, so it's uh, as as far as a uh, a wax goes, it's 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 pretty um, pretty uh, pretty good for the environment. I mean, so you want um, this is my waxing rag. As you can see, it's been well used, well loved. Uh, so I just want to put. A little bit on you don't want to go too much with uh, with the wax just uh, just a little coat over it so you want to have a uh, a, uh, a rag to put the wax on and then a clean rag to take it off so I'm just going to do that all over the chair This is this is going to uh, to nourish the wood, and we'll also give it a really nice sheen as well. It'll just make the grain line stand out a lot more. Now it's easy to miss a bit, so try and keep an eye on where you go. It's not too bad with the wax because you can see the deposits that are left. Um, but what I tend to do is is stick to one side, make sure I've got one side all covered and then I'll turn it through 90 degrees and get underneath the stretchers as well down the backs of the legs so that side's pretty well covered turn it and carry on Do the stretcher across the uh, the middle here while I'm at the front. Again, underneath. I'm only wearing gloves just to protect my hands here. I'm, I'm not worried about the wax in contact with my skin. Um, if you have particularly sensitive skin, you might want to wear gloves as a matter of course. But uh, oftentimes I don't actually uh, wear gloves for waxing. Things like oiling I will do because it's uh, a bit of a nightmare to get the oil from your hands. But for waxing I generally don't. along each of this, the back uprights in turn. Because I didn't do them at the front, I'm going to do them all the way around on this pass. One at a time. on the underside of the backrest as well. Anywhere I've got big clumps of wax remaining like here, uh, I'll just rub those into the uh, 
into the wood as well, a few on the top here. Make sure I've not missed any. There. Now, all waxes are slightly different, but generally you want to leave those on for about anywhere between 20 minutes and 45 minutes. This particular one, oh, this particular one, wants to uh, wants to stay on there for about 45 minutes. Then the wax will harden up a little bit. Uh, and then afterwards, you buff it off with a with a clean rag, and and that will really bring out a sheen. It'll bring bring quite a nice satiny sheen to it. Um, and already, it looks it just looks a lot nicer. It looks um, uh, warmer uh, with the colours and and the grain. Uh, it looks good. The wax has uh, been on there for um, over forty five minutes now, actually. Uh, so I'm just going. To go, I've got a clean cloth now just going over all of that and that's just going to buff it up I'll give it a nice uh, nice sheen all over where the wax went on If you want to, you could always put a second coat of wax on. Um, this this one actually doesn't need it. Uh, it's cool, quite nice. You can see it's got a bit of a shine to it now. There you go. Uh, the uh, the chair has now been um, fixed. It's a lot more stable and uh, ready for use for uh, another good 50 years or so, uh, probably longer.